this video, I'm going to give you a defense that will help you combat Derrick Henry with Escape Artist in Madden Ultimate Team. Now, EA Sports just released a card that most most competent Madden players would say is significantly overpowered, has probably broke the game for the foreseeable future, and that is the Derrick Henry uh, quarterback card. And we're going to talk about how you can deal with escape artists and gunslinger. Now, Regs has had this issue for a little bit uh, longer than Mutt has. Uh, the, one of the major differences, and actually one of the benefits that we have uh, to Madden Ultimate Team, however, is the fact that we have the ability to have players that are almost as fast as Derrick Henry, whereas in Regs, it's actually actually relatively difficult to have that so uh, in this video like I said that's what we're going to talk about I'm going to give you a defense that's going to help you with that if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe also want to let you know that today we're going to be talking about the nickel triple in the Chicago Bears defensive playbook if you've not already uh grabbed my nickel triple defensive ebook i want to encourage you to join my patreon by joining the patreon you're not only going to get access to this full defense which i think this nickel triple right now one of the better defenses in the game for a lot of reasons but you're also going to get access to all 13 ebooks that i have already released over there and any ebooks that i will release in the foreseeable future now what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and put safeties in our linebacker position. That's going to help us a little bit with the speed. The major issue we have is we have to deal with the fact that we have a massive speed discrepancy uh, in in this uh, in this game mode. So what I like to do is put defensive ends uh, down in here. Like for example, uh, Jadavion Clowney and Miles Garrett are going to be my two defensive tackles. Um, if you want to put Miles Miles Garrett on the outside, you mainly just need to put your fastest defensive lineman in this position. Now an to a team that's where i've got everson griffin daniel hunter some of those guys or daniel hunter uh some of those guys like that but also what you want to do is you want to put some fast guys out here the fastest guys you can find typically i like to put some kind of linebacker out here um and the defense that we're actually going to utilize uh, you can really utilize any play in this package, and I actually think zone is going to do a little bit better of a job at defending uh, something like this as opposed to man, but we're going to show this from a man-to-man -man concept because uh, I really enjoy this cover one linebacker blitz and how simple uh, this defense really can be. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to move the ball. I want to give Kyler Murray enough room. Uh, to kind of get loose on me. Now, don't worry too much about the coverage. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that, but I'm mainly focusing in on how can we contain uh, the quarterback because what you're going to get right now is you're going to get this right here. You're going to get a rollout, and they're just going to run. Um, <laughs> that literally what you're going to get, I think that bunch tight in uh, because of the release of Derrick Henry and even Tim Tebow to a degree, I think that those two formations have gotten significantly better because it's just so hard to contain that. Like it truly, it truly is. So what I like to do to stop this or to at least contain it is um, we're gonna crash our defensive line out. We're gonna QB contain. Now what you're gonna see here is it's gonna give us these contains on the outside. Trust me when I tell you they don't always work. <laughs> they don't always work, right? Uh, and then we're going to take this guy to the roll out side. So whichever side you think they're going to roll out, okay? It could be both sides. Uh, and we're going to put him into a hard flat, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy right here, Clowny, and we're going to QB spy him. Now, the other thing that I like to do typically is I'll actually take this guy right here and put him in his own. And the reason why is because typically if they're going to try to roll out with their quarterback, they're either going to block a tight end or a running back. Um, and so that allows you to kind of have a free user defender right here in the deep blue zone, okay? But what you're going to see now is when I try to do this rollout, uh, I've got this contain on the outside that's going to kind of instantly shed, but then I'm going to be rolling right into these players. Um, as you can see, the hard flat and the QB spy. Now, what you want to do on a defensive uh, perspective in this example, uh, at least this is what I would recommend, um, is to go ahead and basically, if you see if you see uh, that they are gonna just simply like snap the ball and roll out, and again, this is a little bit more difficult to stop in regs than it is right now in mutt because there's a major speed discrepancy. You need to pass commit, and then what you want to do here is once you see that they're rolling out, um, you just want to click uh, the right joystick in. So you're gonna see here, and it's gonna be hard for me to show it. But I'm going to click the right joystick in. The spy is going to go. And what we're trying to do, essentially create, if you will, is essentially a way that we can contain off the edge. Now, there's a little bit more of an advanced defense that I wanted to share with you as well. If they are literally just spamming every time, they're going to roll out and contain. Most of the time, this is what you're going to get. One more time, I want to show you this defense, and we'll talk a little bit about another defense that you can utilize. Uh, but, but what I like to do here 
is as you can see, the QB spy, in my opinion, is, is critical. It's almost critical on almost every play you want to have a QB spy. Honestly, I don't even know if it's worth blitzing very much anymore because the escape artist literally, let me just show you real quick. If that if I blitz, and again, this is just an example, but let's say I blitz here. Okay? So I'm gonna send a heavy blitz. Okay, I'm blitzing, I'm blitzing eight eight people, okay? And I want you to watch what happens here. This is what's gonna happen if you blitz. He's gonna outrun that. And again, I, I messed up, but he's gonna outrun that, and it's not you're not gonna be able to get it. You've probably seen at this point. Uh, with just how good this stuff is, you've probably by now seen people do stuff like this where they go here and they come all the way back around. And, I mean, it's just brutal to defend this, okay? It really is, especially if someone knows what they're doing. Um, this offense and that simple rollout is so good right now. So uh, what I like to recommend is, again, I think a QB spy is really critical right now. I really do. I think it's... I think you have to have a QB spy of some sort on every single play. And ideally, you want to have somebody that can actually keep up with the quarterback, which right now in Mutt, you need to get some of those cards that are really fast and put them at your defensive line because they've got to be able to keep up. That's the bottom line. Um, that's just where the state of the game is right now until they patch it or at least make – um, at least give us, you know, the, not not have a quarterback that can have the best rollout animation and the best throwing animation and the best abilities for all of those things. So anyways, um, but last thing here, you're going to also see this. So they're going to step and then they're going to go. By then, you can see how, I mean, it does decent, okay? It's not perfect, but it's decent, okay? So if you're just getting constant rollout, another thing that you can do, especially if you pretty much know they're gonna they're gonna block this tight end right here. Um, one of my favorite things to do out of bunch tight ends. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show blitz. We're gonna bring this uh, guy down. We're actually gonna spy him, and then we're going to uh, blitz ward. We're gonna QB contain. We're gonna slide him off of the edge here, and then we're gonna man up the tight end. And I like to go ahead and just user simply user. Uh, this guy right here okay so you see this is kind of what the defense looks like please make sure that you pass commit it's really important to the play and what you're going to see is we're just going to kind of come around and kind of help clean up if he does roll out the biggest thing here is it's just going to force him to have to at least stay in the pocket um, that's something else you could easily do if you wanted to kind of keep it the same look uh, just blitz that guy off the edge you can still qb contain still spy this guy you know what you might do is go ahead and spy the um you know, probably what I would do is go kind of something like this here, and then because we still want to have we still want to have a man assignment on that guy right there. If we don't, like they could easily just check release him, and then you might want to use this guy that way. If the running back goes on a route, then you can cover him. But most running backs are gonna you know the routes that they're gonna put them on are ins and outs. So if you have two hard flats, you're gonna be fine. But now what you're gonna see here is a little harder to roll out, and I mean you're going right into a spy. So. You know, again, right now, just with the state of the game, it's really hard to stop this offense um, right now. And, you know, I have a bunch tied in ebook. If you want to go learn that, that's at the Patreon. This defense, to me, uh, again, the idea is basically, and you can do this at a two man under two if you wanted to, but basically the idea is to take this guy, blitz him off the edge. And if you, if you actually move him in, I think it significantly helps you. Uh, so you're going to get something like this. You might even do, I mean, you might even do kind of a, a concept like that, if you will. And then what you should see here is if they try to roll out, now you're containing, right? That's that's more common. So, you know, that's what I got for you. Um, that's the best that I've found at this point. Uh, if you want to learn more about the nickel triple defense or if you want to learn the bunch tight end scheme, uh, they're both available over at the Patreon, as is all of my Madden 22 ebooks. So if you want to go get all those for just one price of 10 bucks a month, uh, you can cancel that Patreon membership whenever you'd like as well. You don't have to sign up for a year or anything to get the deal. Literally, as soon as you sign up, you get everything. And as soon as you cancel, um, then you basically will then you won't you won't get access to it anymore. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in the Patreon, head on down to the description below. And uh, you can check that out. I put a link down there for you that you can click, and I'll take you right over to the Patreon page.